remember they took my blood and they left me sitting in the clinic room while they went and got the doctor. And suddenly then it hit me like a sledgehammer. And I suddenly had this wave of despair come over me, thinking this is going to be my life now, sitting in clinics, having blood tests. It was, uh, of course, by great surprise that I found out that I was infected. And um, I thought that it was a, um, a death sentence. And having visions of those in the in the 60s and 70s and 80s who were unable to be treated and subsequently uh, died at a very early age, I thought that I was going to fit into that category because I knew very little about the disease. Well, I've seen a gamut of responses with individuals who, uh, during that period of time, um, I've had laughter, I've had uh, uh, acknowledgement, rarely tears, but uh, most people, uh, shock. There's initial shock, and then what is the next step and the next process in, in, uh, with regards to their HIV infection and, and, and the medical attention that they might need at that period of time. Of course, I had witnessed loads of friends and colleagues eventually succumb to HIV disease and die. I knew that wasn't going to happen to me because I knew we had moved on from being a fatal disease to a chronic disease. I knew there were excellent meds on the market. I think what I did go through was the survivor guilt because I suddenly thought of all the very good people that had died of this disease, which seemed a great waste. And here was I with the same thing that had killed them, but it wasn't going to kill me. A nadie le gusta un dolor de cabeza, no? Of course, no one likes to have a headache, to give an example. So when the doctor told me I was HIV positive, I didn't know what to say. But I didn't feel bad. It's not like they told me I had cancer. And when he told me they caught it early, I also felt some satisfaction. I was pretty appalled at myself, really. In my early 50s, I had lived through all that time I was pretty down about my own behaviour that had led to this in some way. It was a shock and horrible. When I found out that I had been infected during the previous six months, it made me even more annoyed. I was annoyed because I made an error. If I knew that my husband was with other women, I should have taken precautions, but I did not take any. There are people that, according to how the things are I understand that there are some people who, when they find out, they get depressed, their mood changes. But that didn't happen to me. My partner was affected badly. He felt guilty. But I told him not to worry. And I took it well. When I found out about my HIV status, I felt very bad because I, um, I found out that I was positive. Uh, and I never thought even a single day of this that um, I can be in that situation. Yes, I felt very bad and I was thinking about dying at that moment. We are working with people who are going in and out of the seven stages of loss. Today they are in denial. Tomorrow they accept their status. The next day they, they, they are doing a different thing. None of them really showed that at the end, how I accept that I'm HIV and let life continue as it is. No, it wasn't like this. Today it was this, tomorrow it was that, and the other day was some other thing. And all we had to do as clinicians is just to keep on counselling, counselling and counselling. I was relatively okay. You know, there are medications. I just felt oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Because if I've got to have lots of time off work for medical appointments or anything, then this is going to affect my functionality in work because I have a high-profile job. And also socially, who do I tell, who don't I tell? Those things, I think, are really big. Having HIV made me a better person because until then I had been very egotistical. I do not value the things that should be valued in life. After I found out this result, 
It is not like I thought, oh no, I have HIV, I'm going to die tomorrow. Instead, I started to see the positive side of life, to be able to enjoy things more, to appreciate the beauty of a tree, the smile of a child. You value friendship, you value life, the sense of life itself, that you are here to live, to mature and to learn. Some individuals along the lines about three months down would say, oh God, I'm HIV infected, and the reality would hit them, and it was dealing with the issues and circumstances that would come up during that period of time. Uh, there was a lot of depression, there was a lot of um, anger, anxiety, uh, you name it. A lot of individuals went through a lot of emotions during that period of time. It's taken a long time to allay any fears that I've had, but the one moment that I remember was coming in and being told by the doctor that things would be all right. I would have a normal life, live a long time, and um, 12 months from that particular meeting, I'd look back and it wouldn't be such a big deal. And I think what I can say is that uh, that is all true. It's so touching when you meet one person that was sick and you, you grow with them, you bond with that person, and uh, you teach that person to look in, in the life in a different ways, giving hope to that person. And after some weeks, after some months, you see a person gain the confidence again, looking the life positively and stand up and gain the confidence.